Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about the new synopsis that was just released last night, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so last night I made a video regarding the Supergirl photos they released for this episode, Suspicious Minds, Episode 10 of Season 4, and like I said in that, we should be expecting a synopsis very soon and also an extended promo. Well, just a small promo because the Arrow promo dropped last night. It was very, very small. I'm talking like 20 seconds long. So it's kind of a bit weird that they're cutting back on the amount of footage, but maybe they've got stuff to hide. But anyway, Supergirl hasn't dropped its promo yet, but when that happens in the next few days, I would guess, or maybe sometime next week, that's when we should be expecting that promo a better look into the episode essentially from that first very small promo as well okay so the synopsis was revealed and let's break it down so colonel haley is determined to find out supergirl's identity colonel haley is upset after supergirl responds to a distress call from a navy ship that turned out to be a deadly alien attack. Colonel Haley reclaims the site as the Yeo territory and demands that Supergirl steps aside. After Supergirl refuses to be told what to do, Haley refocuses her energy on finding out Supergirl's true identity and begins to interrogate all the Yeo agents, including Alex. Meanwhile, Brainiac 5 tries to persuade Nia to embrace her superpowers, but she misinterprets his motives. Okay, so. Let's break this down bit by bit. This is a very good synopsis. It teases a lot of what's happening, sort of clarifies a few things that the trailer was a little bit ambiguous about and also the photos because yesterday, if you saw my video, I was kind of confused as to why like Haley was doing all this stuff, like seemingly against Supergirl. And so now it seems to clarify a bit. Okay, so Colonel Haley is upset after Supergirl responds to a distress call from a Navy ship that turns out to be a deadly alien attack. So the main reason and the main motive behind this episode is that Haley obviously doesn't agree with what Supergirl's doing because this is supposedly DEO territory because this is an alien attack. It turns out to be deadly. Supergirl responds. Supergirl saves them. And so they're all going to be grateful. But Haley and the president, obviously, they don't want anything to do with Supergirl because they let her go out of the DEO because she wouldn't reveal her identity to the public as Agent Liberty demanded. So Supergirl is in the right here. Haley's seemingly being a bit of an asshole. Like, that's the only way to explain it. And so she's just sucking up to the president. And so she's upset because she didn't get to do it. And now she's fired Supergirl. Like, why should Supergirl be doing anything if we can't do it? So it just will prove the fact that Supergirl is needed in the DEO. The DEO needs Supergirl because they wouldn't have probably been able to stop this Navy ship attack from these aliens, whoever they are. But anyway, so I think those aliens, the alien attack actually will play into what's happening with Haley in this episode because... There is a weird photo with Haley, like seemingly knocked out or just lying down inside one of the DEO prison cells. So I think it could have something to do with what happens in that alien attack, but we'll wait and see. Okay, so Colonel Haley reclaims the site as DEO territory and demands that Supergirl step aside. Okay, so she claims it as DEO territory, therefore it's her own ground, she can do what she wants and essentially Supergirl can't stay there. That is the main reason for claiming it as DEO territory because Supergirl was fired, she doesn't work for the DEO, therefore she can't be there without special permission and it's basically illegal. So she does that in order to get back at Supergirl. And then the next part of the synopsis says, after Supergirl refuses to be told what to do, Haley refocuses her energy on finding out Supergirl's true identity. Supergirl refusing, Seems like a bit of an ass move as well from the other side from Supergirl. I can understand what she's doing. Like, we can all agree that Haley's just seemingly being a total arsehole, like, ten times more. So, Supergirl refuses to leave this ground. Like I said, it's technically illegal if she stays there without permission. So, therefore, she can arrest her or she can try and take her in or whatever. But she obviously can't unless she actually stops her and so Haley refocuses her energy on finding out Supergirl's true identity this proves my point 
that this woman really, really has a problem with Supergirl. I feel like Supergirl's definitely getting on her nerves and that's why she wants to find out the identity and so with her interrogating people like Alex and all the other DEO agents, with them trying to find out Supergirl's identity, I don't think they're going to find out anything, but Kara's going to be contemplating whether to give it up in order for the greater good so she can just stop nagging her and maybe she will look at the public because the public is demanding that Supergirl reveals her identity, but when she looks at it in the inside, she will find, Kara will find out that revealing her identity will do no good, that's just what Agent Liberty wants, and then that is fueling the president, and that's fueling the public, and then you got that public agenda against Supergirl, and that's why they want her to reveal her identity. It's nothing like truly meaningful, it's just rooting from Agent Liberty's speech when he was going to prison, that's just all it's for coming from, so it's nothing of true importance, but I don't think Supergirl's identity is going to get exposed, maybe she's going to get at a little bit, maybe she will get some pieces of information, but I don't think she's going to fully expose her identity, and it seemingly could be revealed, because with Alex being interrogated and all the DEO agents, everyone, I'm sure everyone, can make that link if they actually look into the Danvers family and they see Kara, and you see someone that looks kind of similar, basically the same, exactly the same, but if they don't realise that Supergirl, that's godlike figure, is this person, Kara Danvers, like, they know if they work around them, they are very, very close, like, sisterly close, not just, like, best friend close, so, again, lots of signs, I think Supergirl's in danger, but I don't think she's going to, like, voluntarily actually give up her identity in this episode, or really ever, I don't think it's going to happen with Supergirl like it happened with Green Arrow. And so, moving on to the next part of the synopsis, meanwhile, Brainiac 5 tries to persuade Nia to embrace her superpowers. So he's going to be trying to persuade her to use her superpowers for the good and use them in different ways, but as it says in the synopsis, she misinterprets his motives, so is it that she feels like it's more of, as we've seen in the photo, like going out to dinner and stuff like that, is she misinterpreting it in a romantic way, and that he just wants to meet up and get her to use her superpowers to understand everything, or is it in a different way that she thinks he's using her superpowers for not very good reasons, for like evil reasons? So I think there's two different ways, I think maybe it could be his motives of like taking her out to dinner, we see her all dressed up, he's all dressed up, like I think it's probably in a romantic way that she's going to misinterpret it, but you know that's just my take on it, like what I can see from the outside, which obviously I don't know too much about the story right now, no one really does, and so presumably that's going to be a pretty decent part of this episode. And so, in regards to the other characters that have literally not been mentioned at all, we don't really know what's going on, like, what is John doing in this episode? I think he's just going to pop up maybe once, and maybe work with Supergirl, because Supergirl's all alone and she can't work with the DEO, so maybe John's gonna tag along for one mission or something like that. I still have lots of questions about this episode, especially to do with the photos, and to do with the deadly alien attack they talk about in the synopsis because the photos tease Colonel Haley actually being in prison and like why would she actually be there because Alex would not do that as I said in yesterday's video and also Supergirl would not do that, they would not lock her up, beat her up and then just put her in the DEO prison, everyone would get her out so something fishy is going on, I think my hunch is it's something to do with that alien attack that was mentioned earlier and I think there's like greater meaning behind everything that we're seeing, it's not just like surface level so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and share this video around because right now my videos are doing all right they're not doing very well and i think it's due to supergirl being off and all the dc shows being off so if you could share around that would mean so much to me and so anyway guys i'll see you guys later goodbye